Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your love reading for the week of February 12th through the 18th. Now this is not a private reading so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Due to it being the Valentine's Day week, I have chosen a couple of love decks so we will just see what comes out. These are uh, the two love oracle decks. We're going to get overall energies. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. There it is. And you got two. The first one is children. Your love life is being affected by children. Sorry, that flipped right over, but I'm going to grab it in a minute. It's funny how that happened. <laughs> Ooh, this could be the one you've already met. The romantic partner you seek. There we go. All right. So, interesting. Your love life is being affected by children. Either you have children or your partner has children. Or the person you have your eye on. You know, it could be either way. I think it's a, you know, this week is starting out with a feeling of personal freedom. You know, feeling like you're free to do whatever you want. Typically, I want to let you know that these readings are for people that are struggling in a relationship. Just wanted to throw that out there. We're going to have a hard time with this. So here is, is um, this is the healing card. It's healing, it's balance, it's patience. Okay. Many of you are feeling very free. You're feeling like liberated. And because of that, you may be even be overindulging. This card says to just be careful. All right. Be careful. Be patient. Don't jump. Don't jump. You know, the future's in your hands. When this card comes out, okay, she has to look deep into her crystal ball for the answers. And they don't come instantly. She really has to look deep. Okay, so I feel like there's something could be coming into your life or is in your life where you're going to have to really look deep for your next move. Okay, don't be impulsive. Don't do something that you might regret. Okay, so it feels like many of you are, are moving out of, out of a period of depression that's going away. And because of that, you know, that's where this personal freedom comes in. You may feel so free that you go out there and overindulge. All right, so this, this here reading is saying, hold up, hold up, look, look deep. Is this really what you want? Because, you know, you don't want to lose the structure. You don't want to lose the organization. You're the leader here. It's time to use your, your inner wisdom, okay? I feel like you have a lot of wisdom within you that you are being called to use this week, to find, to dig out, all right? Or else you could be really unhappy with the outcome, all right? Really, really make a, a decision based on what you know. Don't just jump. Try not to be impulsive, okay? Because there's some impulsive behavior here that could cause some regrets, all right? You know, you may feel like you're really alive right now. This just makes me feel so alive. And, you know, I think that's a really good feeling. But when you feel that way, you know, you might just make a mistake. And that's why yeah, I just need to tell you, think, think, think. 
Okay. I feel like, you know, you have responsibilities that need to be taken care of. Maybe you're a father or this has to do with a father because we have this father figure right here. Could be a mother or a father. Somebody who's very dominant, a caregiver, a family person who is the head of the household per se. So I feel like th those responsibilities are definitely affecting a relationship, a future relationship or relationship you're in now. Okay, and I feel like you have to be able to balance out children with a new relationship. I mean, because there's lack of balance. I mean, this is and there's children in this one too, and you know there could be lost opportunities because there you have too many demands. Okay, this is this is having very many demands, too many burdens, too many responsibilities, and because of that, you know, love could be you know passed on okay you know so I just feel like there's an, a need to really think about the choices that you make is this going to even be a big good mix for your children okay you know there's a there's a this is the sign of Leo this is the sign of Aries um, Sagittarius up there uh, you know, I really feel like you really have to, this is amazing, I just really caught the wind of this, listen with your heart, dig deep, dig deep this week, I think you will be presented with an opportunity that calls you, and you might feel so alive that you might think about being impulsive, but I think if you do be impulsive, you will regret it, okay, dig, 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 it really feels like you deserve more, because that's what this this six of pentacles reversed means it means you deserve more and this is also a rejection of an offer you may reject some or you might get rejected in the end because this is the overindulgence which leads to the regret and the unhappiness and the ultimate rejection right here somebody rejecting the offer you know after you felt really alive you felt like this was going to work out so anyway i just need to tell you there could be a rejection of an offer. Um, yes, there could be. There could be. This this is, you know, that's the lover's card reversed. It feels, I'm going to make sure this is zoomed in before I go any further. And I'll bring these other cards down after. <laughs> you know, I feel like there is some kind of... Uh, contract that may be rejected okay so just keep that in mind or maybe ending you know there's there's it doesn't lead to love and I'm sorry to tell you that there's there's a lack of love there's a lack of romance there's a detached feeling where somebody you know that may be impulsive you may feel really alive you may they may make you feel good for a minute but I don't see it lasting And now you're thinking about how you're going to remove some obstacles or you will be in the future if you act impulsively. Okay, this Eight of Swords reverse tells me that there could be some lies surrounding you. Um, and now, now it's time to finally remove these obstacles. I feel like there's an end of a contract here where perhaps somebody is going to be going out of your life. Okay, after... Um, after they brought some um, imbalance, okay? You know, I feel like there's somebody that is in your life that has made you feel really imbalanced, made you off kilter, okay? And now they're going away, all right? Now they're going away because you're removing that obstacle because you deserve more. You don't want to be part of it anymore. You're letting it die. You know, it's just not what I want. No more second chances. I can't, I don't want to even deal with this anymore. I feel like many of you, you know, there's been a period of time where things were great. They were great and they were like, they, maybe it was even addictive, you know. There was definitely some overindulging and perhaps it was even a lot of fun. But now it's it's a wake up time, you know. It's time to uh, to to release this past, release something, okay? I think it's time to release something that no longer serves you. I see the end of a contract here, okay? There's an end of a contract. There's no more chances. It's this karmic debt is paid. It feels like somebody is becoming free of a karmic debt. It's done. It's over. Um, and it brings the ultimate security, stability. 
that you've been waiting for. I f it really feels like there's some kind of rejection of an offer, whether it's you or the other person, that brings you stability. After a period of feeling like this was this was great, it was great, and then all of a sudden the rejection comes. There's hidden forces here, okay? There's been some kind of illusion that has come out. There's a secret. There's a reveal. Something has been revealed that, or is going to be revealed that makes somebody walk away, completely walk away. I'm, I'm out of here. This isn't what I was looking for. Goodbye. Act swift action. It's like, you know what? I'm not even going to... Goodbye. Goodbye. Because it's time for me to respect myself. Because this there's too many feuds. I don't need these feuds with you anymore. I don't. There was too many problems. There was too many problems and you can't... I'm done. I'm out of here. Goodbye. This right here is... Uh, the problems were huge huge relationship problems. It certainly wasn't going to lead to happiness. And now, you know, it's time to be honest with yourself. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. Whoever this person is that you're letting go of, they brought a lot of challenges to your life. Okay? They probably made you very mentally restless. They were mentally restless, so you so they brought you down. And now it's like, pfft. if you, you know, I can't go backwards with you. I can't go backwards. Many of you, uh, or this person or somebody has refused to consider this new approach. Refused to. Maybe it's the other person. I don't know. Somebody is refusing to consider the new the new approach. But you're really really being called to remove an obstacle from your life and realize that there's something better. Maybe maybe it's your partner or the one that's leaving that has refused to see the new approach. And now you're like, "You know what? If you don't want to work on this, if you don't want to do things differently, then goodbye. I'm not going to fight with you anymore." Because I have new opportunities in front of me. You have a new beginning in front of you, waiting for you. But you have to remove some obstacle from your life first. You have to take charge. Okay? You could be dealing with a cancer. Alright? You could be dealing with any sign, because I'm pretty much sure they're all here. But I feel like many of you are removing an obstacle from your life because you have a new a new beginning elsewhere I see a lot of security stability something um, secure I know I just said that um, where you guys are actually moving forward you're moving forward but the other person is not and that's what that is exactly what's happening somebody did not want to compromise they did not want to see it in a new light and it could have to do with children all right it could so i feel like because of that you're letting go you're letting go of something you're ending a contract with somebody because you have a new more secure stable opportunity where there's a chance for success. I feel for many of you this does have to do with children. Your love life is being affected by children. You have somebody new. You have a new opportunity. This is a new one. A new opportunity for somebody. This person was getting you ready. This person could come into your life this week. But I feel like I feel like it's more of you being patient because patience is needed. 
patience is needed. I think that you've already met the one, but you are being called to not be impulsive, to overindulge. Look, dig deep before you make any regrets. I feel like you many uh, you of you have a new opportunity in love after letting somebody after um, completing a karmic contract with somebody else. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said. But you need to listen, listen with a loving heart. Follow your heart. I feel like there's a, there's a new opportunity in love for you, Scorpio. I do. But I think you have to be patient. I think that somebody could come into your life, if you're single, that sparks your interest and you could regret it. If you're coupled, I feel like there could be there could there's a couple situations here. You could have just let somebody go and now you've met the one. Or and this is, you know, fairly recent, or you're coupled and you're thinking about letting somebody go because you're ready for the right one. You know who this person is. So anyway, that's what I have for you. I feel like this is a week where, you know, there could be a new opportunity in love. Talk to you later.